Paris Saint-Germain are victorious versus FC Nantes. And look, this is why we need the Super League. I'm tired of these terrorism Osama Bin Laden football teams. I don't want to face a team that's 2 nil down and still parking the bus and still have 11 players behind the ball. This is not football. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. But back to Paris Saint-Germain, we won and what a big game from Gianluigi Donnarumma, Lucas Hernandez, Marquinhos and Manuel Ugarte. It was more the defensive players, I mean Ugarte, poof, like 15, 17 defensive actions, Donnarumma saving huge chances man, Lucas doing greatly defensively and obviously getting the goal and obviously Marquinhos as well, huge block, but yeah. It was a very calm game. It was sad not to play this kind of football, but Paris Saint-Germain still managed to get the win. And that's the story of Paris Saint-Germain's Lucha side, Lucha's Paris Saint-Germain side, is that we, we just managed to win every single time. He's made us into a mentality monster this season. And we're 14 points clear at the top, 18 games unbeaten. Mm. 2024 has been a superb year so far for Paris Saint-Germain. And I can't wait what will happen versus Stade de AS Monaco, Augustinis, and obviously the second leg versus Real Sociedad. If I had to give a man of the match, I would have to give it to Gianluigi Donnarumma. If he didn't save those shots, those chances, this would have been a very difficult game. But we move. Some plays were rested. Some plays were rotated. We love it, man. We love it. Paris Saint-Germain, every game now just gives me free joy every single time. And I love it. I don't expect us to win every game 5-0, but I expect us to win every game. And at least try to perform as well as possible. This game, even though it's only 2-0, even though nons have chances, we still performed well. We controlled the entire game. And, I mean, we should have been better offensively, especially there in the first half. But there isn't that much you can do against 11 players parking the bus. But Lucho definitely has to go to his tactic board and prepare for when we're facing these teams again on how to get an early goal that opens up the game and how to continue opening them up. Similarly, how to City do against teams that play like them like this. Well, that's been it from your boy, Pierce Gent. Make sure to tune in for the post-match podcast where we'll be discussing the game in detail and many other Paris Saint-Germain topics. And as usual, allez, 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 bye!